Hey Scorpio, rising storm here. So I'm going to be doing a general love reading from now until the end of June 2021. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Sacred applies. Feel free to switch storylines however you like. Okay, so I'm going to be looking for your overall view, your energy, Scorpio, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome from now until the end of June 2021. What is going on with the zodiac sign of Scorpio and the rest of their love lives? Please give me one more shuffle in here. What is going on with Scorpio? Okay, so your overall view, Scorpio, let's see. We got the King of Pentacles. You're going to be dealing with the Earth sign. There's somebody you're not speaking to. Um, no one's making a decision. Um, so there's... <sighs> There's somebody here that you're not in communication with right now with the Knight of Wands there. And I feel like it's causing some sort of a burden or this feeling of heaviness on, on you, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a heavy fire sign. So there's like you're not speaking to this person. For some of you, I'm getting playboy, playgirl energy. I don't know. For some of you, not all of you, okay? But the fact that you're not, this is kind of like creating some sort of a heaviness or a burden here. The fact that there's no communication. I don't know. Your person has the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So, this person, they do want your attention or they do want attention from you. I don't know. But the Knight of Pentacles tells me that this person is moving slow or things are going at a slow pace. Okay? This person wants to come in with an offer but it's really slow. Why is it all happening? No one's making a decision or no one's really coming to the conclusion of anything right now. So, tell me about this King of Pentacles. What is this King of Pentacles about? Clarify that King of Pentacles. We're dealing with the third sign. Yeah, somebody here got severed. So you severed ties with this person. This person severed ties with you. With that three of swords there in reverse. Okay. Somebody severed ties or there was some sort of split or breakup here. Or disconnection. Tell me about this Knight of Wands in reverse. What is this Knight of Wands in reverse about? For Scorpio, please. You're being close. You're being distant. You're emotionally and um, physically distant towards this person. There's a situation here um, that hurt you or there was some sort of severance or someone cut ties with somebody here. I don't know. But you're acting emotionally closed off or emotionally distant. You can be doing what the water sign doesn't have to be, okay? I say that because you have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. So no communication. I don't feel like you're taking the initiative to communicate. You're being uh, emotionally closed off. Um, but I feel like this is stressing you out or this is creating some sort of a burden. Why is the Ten of Wands there? Why the Ten of Wands? Or you're carrying some sort of weight? Because things are not equal between the two of you. Things were just really not balanced between the two of you. And I feel like that caused some sort of strain within you. Or, you know, the fact that you guys weren't on the same page or there was a lack of equal give and take, it would cause, like, you know, stress or burden. You know what I mean? Six of Pentacles in reverse. The lack of communications wasn't good. Okay, the lack of communication. Tell me about the Six of Wands for the person that Scorpio is dealing with. What is the Six of Wands about? What is the Six of Wands about? They want victory with you now. They love you now. <laughs> this person that you're dealing with, okay, so they have the Six of Wands and then the Two of Cups. So this person definitely does have deep feelings for you, all right? They have a deep, they, they feel deeply for you and they're wanting this to be successful or they're wanting your attention or whatever it is. They want this to work, okay? And I feel like this person is taking their sweet time coming in, but they're wanting something like um, stable with you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles about? This person holds back a lot. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened. But somebody here is definitely not making a decision with that two of wands in reverse there. There's no decision being made. 
your person wants to come in with an offer, but they tend to hold back or they need the courage to come in with an offer, they must have really fucked up in the past then. Okay, so tell me about this two of wands in reverse for what is this two of wands in reverse about? For why it's all happening in the world. So no one's making a decision about a chapter or about a new chapter here. Things are just pretty much sitting there. Okay. Your person definitely does want to come together and have something successful. They're holding back or they're needing the strength. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Somebody here is definitely wanting they're ignoring or not making a decision about a new chapter or a new lease with this person. Um, how does Scorpio see the person that they're dealing with here? What can you tell me? How does Scorpio see the person that they're dealing with? They, you see, okay. So you see them as someone who just doesn't put the work in or um, they don't they they don't put the work into the connection, okay, with that Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So you don't feel like you, you view this person as someone who doesn't put any efforts or doesn't try for the connection, okay? Maybe you feel like this person isn't really focused on you or you, you're not their priority. Um, why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse for? I think you, you view, um, why is that page of pentacles there? Tell me about the page of pentacles. You see this person as someone who's really not putting in the work or isn't trying to communicate with you right now. Okay. Um, tell me more about this page of pentacles. So, I don't know, if you see this person as someone who's one minute you're speaking to, the next minute you're not. So, one minute you're talking to them, the next minute you're not speaking to them, right, on and off energy. You see this person as someone who just doesn't put in the work. Okay, so they, it's very, you know, one minute we speak, the next minute we don't. There's nothing being put in, the, there's no energy or anything, effort being put into this connection. So, you just basically see this person as someone who is very in and out. And there's just a lack of communication or a lack of balance or equalness. You close yourself off towards this person now. It's just funny how the, when you close yourself off, that's when they want to come. Um, dealing with the fire sign. How does this person that Scorpio is dealing with see Scorpio? How does this person see Scorpio? What can you tell me? Why, why is that Ten of Pentacles there? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Why is that there? So they see you as... So they feel like maybe you're not as attracted to them as you once were. Or you're, you're, you're may not wanting a new beginning with them. But they see you as someone that they want to commit to now. Or they want something of stability with you or like a family or whatever the case may be. But they feel like with that Ace of Wands in reverse, they kind of feel like maybe you don't have that passion for them anymore or you don't feel that way towards them anymore. Because it looks like they left a really bad impression or whatever the case may be because it looks like you're closed off. And you see this person who's very wishy, you, maybe they could be wishy-washy or you felt like it, it took a toll on you at some point from this connection or it is still. But your person's wanting their... They're afraid that you may not be interested anymore or not wanting this new beginning or new starts. For some of you, I feel like this person sees you as someone, you know, very on and off, like one minute it's on, next minute it's not, or whatever the case may be. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? So what's the possible outcome for now until the end of um, June for, in regards to this uh, situation here? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome here? Queen of Swords. Well, what's the possible outcome here? Why is that? Why is that? Seven of Cups in reverse. Why? There's going to be a return. Um, I think somebody here is definitely realizing what they lost or they definitely realize the situation for what it is okay there's a sense of this person knowing that what they want now and they want to come back around because they had they they can't let you go they have a hard time moving forward okay um 
I feel like you're fed up with this person. Or you're in this energy of the Queen of Swords, like you're you're bitter towards them, or you're not taking no shit, you're not taking shit from this person. I don't, I don't, I see, I don't really see you stressing so much over this person. For some of you, why is that? The death. There's some sort of ending. Yeah, I don't feel like you guys. There's gonna be communication between the two of you, but I'm still seeing it. I'm still seeing the energy being very much disconnected, or maybe you you don't feel as much connected to this person as you once were. But uh, I feel like your person realizes and they they wanna they wanna come back around and have something with you. Okay, so that was your reading. Um, Scorpio, if it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video.